Oh, hey, thanks for stopping by. What's going on, guys? I got so many updates for you. I got dropshipping updates, life updates, more updates. So first and foremost, my schedule has been absolutely nuts. I have been on the grind, my friends. I have been putting in work at school. Just started up. We're at our first month here, ending the first month. I have been putting work at the gym. I have been working out. That is the same thing. And last but not least, drop shipping. Drop shipping has been a top priority over school and working out. I know, I just said it. Drop shipping has been a huge priority, man. I'm trying to get this thing going, guys, and I have updates to show for it. So I'm completely done my demo store, which means I am able to contact suppliers. Hold up, hold the phone. I was on the phone with suppliers, calling them up calling them up. So I was calling these suppliers today, trying to get approved, trying to get them to do business with me. And I got a bunch of emails sending applications. So I'm, I'm waiting for them to send the applications to me so I can fill them out, give them my business stuff. I got all that done the other week and I'm stoked. I got my first registered business, which is huge for me. I mean, just, it just sounds cool. I, I, I have my own business. I got my own company. But seriously, my schedule has been nothing other than school working out obviously, and drop shipping and baths. I've been taking a lot of baths. I'm definitely a bath guy. Cozy up with a book, you know, a nice glass of milk. Chill in the bath, you know? A bunch of you guys do it. You know that guy who draws the bath and always takes about six minutes and 27 seconds, who's counting though, right? Goes downstairs, makes five taquitos and heats them up, brings them up with a glass of milk. Yeah, that's not me. I know nothing about that life. But I digress. Baths are awesome. Other than that, though, suppliers have been, I mean, obviously, like, smooth talking them up. I got one's number today on Google, looking them up. <laughs> uh, I couldn't get a girl's number. Maybe a guy's, though. It's 2017. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask the next supplier. So, yeah, the past day and a half after class, I've been calling these guys up. And it's awesome. Another update too, I've, the average price point for the products I'm going after in my niche is roughly 1600 bucks US, which is like 10 grand Canadian where I'm from. It's awesome because the average price point of products I'm gonna be selling in my niche is like 1600 bucks. And I'm Canadian, right? So you know that's like 10 grand. Okay, not actually 10 grand, nine. Okay, not actually nine. But hey, some of these things that I'm selling or going to be selling go up to like three grand. So I'm really trying to close those suppliers, get them listed so I can just upload those products and start selling, baby. I literally cannot wait for my first sale. Apparently every time on Shopify you make a sale, you hear a little cha-ching, like a cash register on your phone. Oh yeah, stoked. Another side note, the relationships I'm making in the process of going through this course is phenomenal. I've developed some super dope friends online all over North America, and then some are in Europe too. So, yeah, friends. Seriously, most of the friends I've made in the last few months are all online. Similar goals, similar ambitions, but you know they live thousands of miles away from me, which is dope, because now I can go visit them. No, but seriously, we're all grinding, we're all putting in the hours, we're helping each other out, giving each other tips. It's phenomenal. Dropshipping aside, just kidding, dropshipping never aside, but seriously, no, dropshipping. Dropshipping aside, I've also had a really good week or couple weeks outside of, I guess, YouTube. I mean, you guys don't know what I'm up to. If you want to know, follow me on Instagram. I'll post a link in the description. But yeah, this week's been really good. I've been learning lots. I've been making time to read. I've been getting, uh, my morning routine is getting set and I love it. I might make another video on that because it is so important, in my opinion, uh, if you want to be successful, to have like a kick-ass morning routine, and I'll share with my, I'll share mine with you eventually. But yeah, I've been learning lots, picked up some books. I also listen to a lot of audiobooks because I don't read very fast. I don't read super fast, so I like to listen to audiobooks. I like to do stuff while I'm listening, so it doesn't feel like I'm, you know, just learning or like just doing stuff. I can learn while doing stuff. I found this awesome app, and it's called Librivox.com, and what it is, it's like all these famous authors and not so famous authors post their books. There are a lot of them are older, but still valuable knowledge, knowledge. They're all over YouTube, but I got them downloaded on my phone so I can listen to them when I'm out and about. And they're free. People post these books onto the public domain 
and it's, it's, it's legal. I'm not telling you to do anything illegal, but I'll, if I figured out how to do it, I'll post it in the description where you can download it or just go to the app store on Android or iOS, I, Apple stuff and look for Liverbox recordings. One audio biography I've been getting into lately is the autobiography of Andrew Carnegie. That guy was a boss in business, like, I guess almost, a, it was 100 years ago now. Yeah, 1920s, 100 years ago. But there's other autobiographies too that I'm gonna totally take advantage because I'm cheap and I don't like paying for stuff. And I don't, you don't like paying for stuff. Nobody likes paying for stuff. I'm gonna drop a wisdom bomb on you guys today. Uh, I heard a quote earlier this week and I wanna share it with you guys. And hopefully it resonates with you the way it resonated with me. And this wisdom bomb is from Albert Einstein, the man himself. And he said something along the lines of, I have no special, no, it was this. I have no special talents. I'm only passionately curious. Now, obviously that didn't resonate with me because I have a bajillion special talents. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Obviously Albert Einstein being super humble because he's Albert Einstein, but no, like he didn't get recognized as a genius till I guess years after he died, but that's coming from him. The world sees him as a genius and here he is saying, I have no special talents. I'm only passionately curious. And that's starting to rub off on me, that philosophy of life, is to be passionate about what you do, to love what you do. If you love what you do, life gets way better. I promise you on that one. Anyways, if you made it this far and you were watching, I don't know how, I probably wouldn't have done that, seriously. I am super stoked for how these next couple weeks and months are gonna turn out. Things have been going awesome and I, they're only going up from this point. I really appreciate you guys checking this out. I hope this video was able to serve you in some way. And at this point, I'll see you in the next one.